Okay, in our video today, we're going to be taking some assets we exported as FBX and bringing them into our scene. I've just made a blank Unreal project. I'm going to import them now. When you are creating your folders, you want to make sure that you start making sure that things are well labeled. So I'm going to just call this one, I shall call it My Assets. All right, now in that folder, I'm going to import so I've gone to where everything is kept under my scenes folder and I'll import my banana mesh. I click open and it will give me some options. Now it's not a skeleton. And yes, I'll auto generate collisions so I can't walk straight through it. I will keep the rotation and translation. I'm not sure whether it's the right size yet. So at the moment I'll just keep it at the same scale and I will also make sure I import my material with it. And it will give me a little issue just about smoothing, but we can ignore that. Okay, here it is. Blue means it's a static mesh. Green means it's a material. And red means it's the texture. So it's made the material for me. So let's bring it in. Okay, it's looking quite small there. Well, depends how big you want the banana to be, whether you want it to be a statue of a banana or something the player eats. So for now, let's leave it like that. But you can see there's some transparency issues. So to fix that, I'll go into my material. In my graph here, you can see it's done some coding for me. And it's said here that this banana material, I'm going to use this texture as the color for it. It's also made an opaque sort of layer here, which takes the areas in here and we'll make some opaque. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that connection. I can click on that and press delete or I can press alt, click on that to delete that connection, delete that and press save. I'll let that save and now that should be all fixed. There might be times when you do want that opacity there but not right now. Banana. Fantastic. Now Let's see what happens when I can import my fruit mesh. I'll open that, keep those the same. And you can see it's created my static meshes. It's just compiling the shaders, which means the textures. And it's got all these along with it. And it's brought them all along. I can drag that in. And again, I might want to fix that texture up. So let's import this banana again, but this time let's change the scale. Let me delete and I'll re-import the banana. So this time I'm going to change the scale so that it's twice as big. Import it, and as I import it this time, it's done the changes for me. Now, it's more helpful for this to be done in Maya, but for now, it's not a bad fix. Now, as I move it, you can see it's moving in a little bit of a snapping way. Now, sometimes it means that you can't position everything exactly correctly. If I go over here to snapping, you'll see that it enables or disables snapping to the grid. And I can also just change my snapping size so it's only going to move by one every time rather than ten. If you imagine that this is like a graph, and so I'm just moving it by one. It's a lot simpler. If I move to every hundred, it snaps like that. Okay, we've got our asset in Unreal. We're ready to take some beauty shots now. And we can do that just by simply going to the snipping tool. Hope that's helped, and uh, good luck.